scared. It's a bit of a bumpy flight. We are on our way to, well, you'll see in a little bit. You'll also see what this has to do with chestnuts. But first, I should back up a couple of days ago when Ava and I were talking about Christmas. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Doesn't feel super Christmassy in uh, Southern Arizona right now. No, but zero, it's hot. <laughs> it seems like August. <laughs> do you like chestnuts? Uh, actually, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever had chestnuts. We sing about them every year in our Christmas carols, but uh, I don't know, other Americans, have you ever had chestnuts? I went home to do some research, and as it turns out, there's a very good reason why I've never had chestnuts. Chestnuts used to be really popular in America, but then a disease wiped out basically all of our trees. Hence why every American sings about eating chestnuts every Christmas, but very few of us have actually eaten them. None of our local grocery stores actually carry chestnuts, but thanks to the magic of the internet, we finally got our hands on some. So we've now tried several different online sources for chestnuts without much success. Uh, we've got one more, we're gonna give these a shot. So how does one even roast a chestnut? If I was in Italy, I would use a special pan that in Italy we have to roast our chestnuts. It's a pan with several holes. But here I don't have this pan, so I have to bake my chestnuts. So not on an open fire? No, Arpiero, we don't have the, <laughs> the right pan. I thought chestnuts have to be cooked on an open fire. See, that That's is That's the what... only way I know of that chestnuts are cooked. What's wrong? It's wrong that uh, just from here I can tell that these chestnuts are not good chestnuts. Wait, what do you mean? What do you say? When you touch, uh, you feel that they are uh, half empty. They are very old. Oh, they're kind of squishy. Uh, see, because they are old, Arpir. They are not fresh and good. These chestnuts, in my opinion, they, have, uh, they are already one year old. No, they don't look good, Arbel. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. This should come out, but this doesn't come out. So that, like, husky skin should just come off easier? See, si, Arbel. They don't taste like chestnuts. I'm, I'm not worried about the taste, I'm worried about my tooth breaking. That's when Ava told me that we didn't actually need chestnuts in order to enjoy chestnuts. One of the ways in which in Italy we cook with chestnuts without using chestnuts is using a chestnut flour. We'll put a link below for the flour, by the way. And today we are going to do a chestnut pasta. It's with the glove, you can't get your hands dirty. No, I cut myself yesterday, so I have a... A band-aid? See. Oh, me too. The idea of chestnut pasta seems a little nutty to me. No, Arpir, in Italy is a very common kind of pasta.
that is, but it's really good. This is salsa di noci. It's one of the most traditional sauce of Liguria. Liguria, huh? First of all, I haven't even tried the chestnut pasta yet, but forgetting that for one second, this stuff is amazing. I know, this is a salsa alle noci ligure, and it's as Asian as pesto, and it's one of the traditional sauce that they make in Liguria. It's so good, it's, it's like hummus, but cheesier and nuttier, it's almost like cheesy walnut peanut butter. It's so thick you could like spread it on bread or use it as a dip or you can thin it for a sauce like this. Anyway, I'm, I'm very, very into that. So um, yeah, about this pasta. This pasta is a traditional pasta from Liguria and the name is Picagge Matte. Matte, which means crazy because they are made with uh, normal flour, with flour and chestnuts flour. So it is a little nutty. See, see, okay, it's a little bit nutty. Nice and thick, just the way I like it. Buon, buon appetito. appetito. Someone once asked me, don't you get tired of eating pasta all the time? This is why I don't get tired of eating pasta all the time, because sometimes pasta can be like this. Like this is unlike anything I've ever, ever, ever eaten. Pasta is never the same. Every single dish of pasta has its own taste. This is truly unique from the pasta itself to the sauce everything about it is unlike anything i've ever had in the most amazing way i don't even really know how to describe the flavor of the chestnut pasta it's a little bit sweet though mm -hmm. but not sweet that go against the savory of the sauce in order to understand though maybe you should do <laughs> yeah uh i highly recommend making this okay i'm into chestnuts thus far but we still don't have any fresh whole chestnuts, but do you have any other recipes we can still make? Si, sí, Harper. Another way in which you can cook with chestnuts without chestnuts is using chestnuts, but they are not fresh chestnuts, and this makes the difference. Pre-peeled, pre-cooked chestnuts? They are ready to eat chestnuts. So you don't have as much to worry about getting like a bad batch like we did with fresh chestnuts? No, uh, actually they should be good. Much better of the fresh chestnuts that you can find here. Same deal here, link below. And with this, I'm going to make a chestnuts mushroom risotto. A lot of people ask us why we don't cook uh, mushroom. Now, it's very difficult here to find very good mushroom, except for uh, champignon and maybe portobello, but let's be honest, they are not very, very full of flavor. Today I'm going to use uh, dried mushroom because actually you can find good dried mushroom. In this case, they are from France. Maybe they are better than nothing. When you use dried mushroom, remember to soak them for at least uh, half an hour. Don't throw away the water of the mushroom because now we are going to use it.
also my favorite resort. Really? In all the world. I like all of them but mushroom and chestnuts. They are not. Wait a moment. This is for me. Because you know how much I love chestnuts. That's the only reason you put it on, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Would you like some risotto with your chestnuts? What up, Petito? Okay. I see what you did there. I see what you're getting at. The chestnuts, because they are naturally sweet. Yeah. They balance perfect. Yeah, it goes very well with the mushrooms, which are such a heavy, earthy flavor. I honestly thought that I probably wouldn't taste the chestnuts very much through the mushrooms, but nope, nope, it's it does a very good thing. When you have the bite of chestnuts, you can taste that they are a little bit sweeter, mamma mia. Okay, so since chestnuts have this like naturally sweet flavor, you must have some good like chestnut desserts, right? A good chestnut flower is sweet by itself, so for this dessert we are not going to add any kind of sugar, but we are going to add some raisin. You sure this is supposed to be a dessert? No sugar, rosemary. This is a dessert, Harper. The name of this dessert is Castagnaccio. It's a traditional dessert from Tuscany, Liguria, center north of Italy. So the original version was just flour and water. Just chestnut flour and water. The raisin, the pineapple, the walnuts, they came in a second time. Okay, actually the rosemary is to give a good smell yeah, it to smells the castagnaccio. Delicious. And a legend says that the woman who prepared the castagnaccio, she put the rosemary as a sort of, uh, how do you say, love uh, po po poison? Love, no, love poison. poison. No poison. Love elixir. Love potion. potion. <laughs> so the person who was going to eat, uh -huh. fall in love with the person who made. Nice try. I already love you. You can eat the castagnaccio. By itself, you can serve with some good ricotta, you can serve with ice cream, you can serve with, I don't know, a mascarpone cream, a custard. Buon right. appetito! Buon appetito! Nope, that is, that is a dessert. That is definitely a dessert. It's a really good dessert, too. I love chestnuts. Really? I, yeah. I love chestnuts in all their shape. Maybe with a castagnaccio, risotto. I love chestnuts no matter what. This is amazing. I know. It feels super rich. It's definitely not heavily sweet. It's not super sweet. It's light, but it's in a wonderful, wonderful way. That is super good. Don't forget that in Italy anyway, we have a lot of dessert without sugar. Maybe we should do a whole video on that. Let us know in the comments below if you'd be into a, a video all about Italian desserts that don't use any sugar. Judging from this one, they're pretty darn good. We had the pasta, we had the risotto, we had the castagnaccio. Are you satisfied with your chestnuts meal? Everything was really good. I have to admit, I'm still a little disappointed. I still haven't had my chestnuts roasted on an open fire. Vabbè, Harper. Let's go. And that pretty much brings us up to speed. Hang on, I think we're landing soon.
these are Calda Rost that's here in Rome during fall and winter you can find on every corner you see how the peel easily okay my first roasted chestnut I think that's what a roasted chestnut is supposed to taste like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to stick around Italy for the holidays. So uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we've got some cool stuff I think we're going to show you guys. Follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar, and give me some of that chestnut. All right, cool. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Ciao.